Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, taking a look at the Nokia 5800 Express Music phone. Now, you can get this phone for $400 without any carrier relief. Currently, it's available for about $200 if you're willing to sign a contract. Now, we can see here on the front there's a 3.2 inch touch screen. Now, unlike some of the other um, kind of lower end uh, phones that, that try and incorporate a touch screen, this one's actually done quite well. Now, we can see here the dialing application. If we hit the buttons, now, what you can't see on camera is that this phone actually has what's called haptic feedback. So as I press buttons, there's a slight vibration underneath the screen that lets me know that I've hit the correct button. Now, we can see up here, as the name suggests, the Express Music, uh, media really is a big part of the, uh, of the equation here. If we hit the button here, we can see the dedicated uh, media application. We can bring up music. We don't currently have any music on this phone, um, but this is where you'll manage all your music. Now, one really nice thing about this phone is everything that comes in the box. So, going with the, the uh, music theme, it comes with a Plectrum stylus that you can use to, to um, manipulate the screen, which attaches to the phone like this. It also comes with a pair of stereo headphones. Not the greatest quality, but they're pretty good. It also has an inline microphone on those headphones. There's also an inline remote control for manipula manipulating your media. So you can accept calls, skip uh, forward and back in your music, play, pause, stop. Also, it comes with this little stand for when the device is in uh, landscape mode. You can actually rest it down like this and, and watch a video. Now, with this included TV out cable, you can also push your media straight to your phone, or straight to your television, I should say. Now, we mentioned the touch screen. Let's pull it up, up an application where we can actually make use of it. So we'll pull up the messaging application. We'll say we want to do a new message. Now, if we go into the body of the message, you see that it flips to landscape. Now we can type. Obviously, I'm typing gibberish. We'll send that and confuse someone. There's also a couple of other text entry methods. You can also use T9, which is where you'll have a keyboard um, with letters associated with each number, like, you, like regular text messaging on a regular candy bar style phone. Uh, and it uses T9, which is a word completion, which actually works quite well. Now, apparently, the phone also does handwriting recognition, but we haven't gotten around to checking that out because we found the on-screen keyboard works so well. Now, the phone also has an accelerometer. In certain applications, you'll, you'll see that when we flip the orientation, the, um, obviously, it doesn't work in the menu screen, but if we're in, uh, for example, the applications here, you can see that it flips back and forth between the different orientations. Now, on the back of the device, we have a 3.1 megapixel camera phone. Well, it's 3.15. They say 3.2 because I guess they're rounding up. Um, on the front of the device, there's also uh, another camera that allows you to make and receive video calls, which is a neat touch. Now, it also has GPS and Wi-Fi which are nice things to see in, uh, in a phone like this, because it's not actually a smartphone, but it really does have some of the smartphone features. So that's a quick look at the Nokia 5800 Express Music Phone. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com.